What's going on everybody? It's Pastor Pierre and I just wanted to share something with you that we spoke about recently at Finisher's Church and uh, lately I've just been on this kick and God has been speaking to me about our fight as believers and for too long I feel like uh, we have just allowed the devil to, to, to do whatever uh, he wants to us and we've just sat back and have taken those things without putting up a fight. You remember when Paul was reaching out to the church of Thessalonica to find out how they were doing as a result of what he was going through and he sent Timothy to find out how they were doing in their faith and what he said is that he said listen I can't wait uh, to see you and to be with you to hopefully uh, supply or provide that which is lacking in your faith and I believe that one of the things that we're lacking in this season as believers is that uh, we are lacking our fight and uh, but but God wants us to get our fight back and we can believe everything that is in this book and we can de uh, declare the promises of God and say listen I'm open for everything that God has for me and has for my family and my church but if we don't have the faith to stand up and put action to the things that we believe then nothing's going to happen but but over in Isaiah 42 it says here you death look you blind and see who is blind but my servant and deaf like the messenger I send who is blind like the one committed to me blind like the servant of the Lord you have seen many things but have paid no attention your ears are open but you hear nothing uh, then jump down to verse 22 and it says but this is a people plundered and looted all of them trapped in pits or hidden away in prisons they have become plunder with no one to rescue them they have been made loot with no one to say send them back and in this season that if we are going to get our fight back what we've got to realize is that the Bible says this it says that if you just resist the devil that he will flee from you and one of the ways that we can resist the devil is by using our mouth and we've got to recognize that when we go through life and when life hits the tactic and the goal of the enemy is to keep our mouths shut the Bible says that if we just speak to the mountain and say be thou removed and be cast into the sea that that thing will will now be removed from us never to return again so it makes it so clear that the mountain in the mountain that you are facing, the mountain that I am facing, and we are collectively facing, uh, those mountains are waiting to hear our voices. And here it is, God is saying, look, you, you guys are deaf, you're blind, uh, uh, you know, you, you are living but you're really dead, you know, I've given you promises but you're not operating uh, on, on, on what I say to do to now take hold of those promises. You're deaf and blind, and now you are in a place where you feel like you are in a prison. You are in a prison, you have chains around you, you are tied up, and there's an enemy that is just kicking your butt, and no one is saying, restore. Another version says, no one is saying, give them back. Uh, uh, you know, and what we've got to do is that God has given us the power of our mouths to open up our mouths. We serve a speaking God. We are a speaking people of a speaking God. Do you remember when Jesus was over at, at, uh, at the tomb where Lazarus had been placed after he had died? And the Bible says that when Jesus got over there, Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. And that everything that stood in the way of Lazarus coming forth had to move out of the way. Uh, had to move out of the way. Imagine there was rigor mortis had settled in. Uh, the blood had gotten congealed. Imagine the odor. But all of those things had to move out of the way when Jesus spoke a word. And just as Jesus spoke a word and now dead things came back to life, we have the ability to cause for those dead things that we're facing to come back to life. And what we've got to do is just speak a word. We're sitting around and we complain and we let the devil take away family members. We let the devil cause for things to happen in our ministries and our churches. And we just sit back and say, oh, well, well, it's probably just the will of the Lord that we go through this. No, it is not the will of the Lord that that, that, that you experience sickness. It is not the will of the Lord that, 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 that your family members are locked up in prisons or are on the streets doing things they don't need to be doing or they're hanging out with people that, that are just taking them away from the destiny that God has for them. That's not the will of the Lord. But now if the kingdom of God suffers violence. Maybe we've got to get violent and say, you know what devil? For too long you have held us up. You have blocked us. You have held back the things that God has had for us. And sometimes we have allowed the devil to take those things. We have allowed the devil to hold those things up. But now is there any one of us who will speak Speak, restore. Is there any one of us that will open up our mouths and now issue a decree against 
those things that are coming up against our homes and against our families. Remember over in Esther, uh, in, in Esther chapter 7 and chapter 8, uh, when, when, when there was a decree issued by Haman to now kill all the Jews because he was mad that Mordecai would not bow down uh, to him. Uh, and, 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 and Haman said, listen, king, there's a people who are over here doing their own thing. They're operating based off of their own laws and rules, and we just need to kill them. So the king gave him uh, his ring and said, you can do whatever you want. And Haman went around and was issuing decrees to kill all the Jews. But he didn't know that Esther was also a Jew. And that's the same thing for us, that sometimes the enemy doesn't know who he's messing with and does not know that we have the power of our words. So bottom line, to make a long story short, when the king found out uh, that what, what Haman had done, and, uh, and saw those gallows that were outside uh, uh, to, to, to hang the Jews and to kill the Jews. The king said, listen, hang Haman up on that thing. And, and that, that is just evidence right there that the enemy that is coming after you and the enemy that has been attacking you, that if we just have the boldness enough, it may be an uncomfortable situation, maybe an uncomfortable prayer or conversation, but if we have the boldness enough to go to the king, to take our issues to the king, to take our matters to the king, that the thing that was meant to destroy you and take you out, that that thing will now reverse and destroy the enemy. But what happened was uh, that, 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 that then Esther then asked the king, like, listen, my people, we are in trouble. Can you now turn back the decree that Haman issued? And the king said, listen, once that decree has been issued, it cannot turn around. But he said this, he said, but what I can do, I can give Mordecai my ring. And he gave Mordecai his ring. He said, but you can issue a decree over the decree. The Bible tells us in Job that you shall also decree a thing. And that thing shall be established unto you. So what we've got to do as believers, if we're going to get our fight back, and if we are not going to let the enemy to, to just give us whatever he wants to give us. If somebody wants to present you with divorce papers, no, stop sitting back, taking that to tell us that you are sick, that you are confused, that, that you are in lie. But if we are going to fight those things, the enemy has tried to issue a decree in your life, and perhaps you started to believe what the devil said. But now get your fight back, and you stand up, and you speak restore, you speak, you know, give it back, give them back. Give back my family. Give back the, the abundance that God had given me before. You have to now open up your mouth. Job says that you shall also decree a thing and that thing shall be established unto you. Open up your mouth and decree a decree. Issue a decree over the decree that has been issued by the enemy over your life. And what we will do, we will experience all the restoration. And not only that, but the Jews, the Bible says in Esther, that not only did they receive restoration, but they received restitution. So in this season of your life, I want to encourage you that if you just step up, up, and if you get your fight back and if you open up your mouth and you speak those things into existence and if you now declare that your family is restored, that your life is restored, that your marriage is restored, that you walk in divine health, that you are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, that what you will see, you will see not only restoration, but you will receive restitution. That's what happened with David. The Bible says that when God told him to fight, see, David did not seek relief, but David sought the victory. God told David to fight. And the Bible says that not only did he recover all, but he he now got the spoil of the enemy. So God's going to give you restitution and restoration in this season. But what we've got to do, we've got to now open up our mouths. We, If you look at your family, if you look at perhaps what's going on in your church, what has happened in your church, if you look at what, what has even gone on in your life, and you say, you know what, God, I remember a time. I remember when I was happy. I remember when I was just operating in just full joy. I remember when I was in a place of abundance. What happened, God? You know, I got all this stuff has been stripped away from me and I don't know what to do. And we've been sitting around just allowing those things to be a part of our reality. But God says that's not your reality. Faith is your reality. You still have the title deed to everything that I promised you. But will any of you speak, restore? And that's what Isaiah 42 is, tell, is telling us, that we ought to open up our mouths and now decree a thing, decree and declare a thing, and say, you know what, give me my stuff back, I want my joy back, I want my peace back, I want my strength back, I want everything back that was promised to me, those things that the locusts destroy, no longer, no longer will I accept that, I'm not going to accept what the enemy has done to me or is trying to do to me, no, 
give them back. I shout it out. I shout with storm. I said, listen, I'm going to make man in my own image, in my own likeness, and I'm going to give them power to subdue the earth, to have authority, to have dominion, to dominate on earth. Meaning that God has given us the power over every creeping thing that is on this earth. So now we operate out of that same authority that God has given us. If we now get that second wind back again and say, you know what? I laid down and I bled a while after I got my butt whooped. But if you're like me and if you've gone through a time in your life where you got your butt whooped by the enemy and you kind of accepted it for a while and you know how that depression uh, came over you, how loneliness came over you, how you begin to doubt everything that God had ever promised you. You don't like that feeling. I didn't like that feeling. So you've got to make that decision that because I didn't like that feeling, I promise you I'm never going to experience it again. And one of the ways that you and I will not experience it, it again is if we now reignite our faith. Do like Paul told Timothy, may I remind you to stir up the gift of God that was placed on the inside of you. And God placed power on the inside of us. God placed dominion on the inside of us. And God placed the ability to speak on the inside of us. So now speak those things. Now shout out restore. Will you be the one in your family to shout restore? Will you be the one in, in your church to shout restore? God, I'm not going to accept any longer what the devil has done to me. I want it back. Restore it. Give them back. And when you just decree a thing, everything that the devil has told you, I dare you to start writing decrees. Issue a decree against the decree and say, devil, I know what you said, but now I have authority over you. God has given me dominion over you and I issue a decree against the decree and watch what happens. Watch God open up some doors for you like never before and it'll be like a light bulb is turning on in your family because God has now restored those things back to you. So enjoy a little time of R&R, &R, restoration and restitution. I know I will. Peace. God bless you.